Ivan, could you please give us a short introduction of what the Andean tradition is about? It tends to be a very direct and simple way of approaching the reality. It is based, for example, in the concept of causae, which is living energy. For us, everything in the reality is made through living energy. Everything has living energy. So in certain way we are surrounded or we are immersed in endless amounts of living energy. And in that way we can found that there are different qualities to our experience. We can found different qualities of living energy. So you can call them light or heavy energy. And this is the point of view of the tradition. We don't see that anything can be really negative or harmful. And then, once we are living in this world of living energies and we are in touch with them, another important factor is that having our free will, human beings have the capacity of creating different kinds of energy, like light or heavy. So depending on your behavior, you are able to make heavy things or light things. And you have the capacity to decide. Once you are aware of that, you realize that inside yourself there is a factor of high quality that we call the seed or the Inca Mujo, which is a high quality factor that is inside yourself that is supposed to be developed across your life. And how you do that? When you are able to put in touch this high quality factor inside yourself with the energies of the environment. When you connect these two factors, the energy will start to flow through this high quality factor and you are going to start to express new qualities and grow in the consciousness level. Another important factor in the tradition is the concept of Aini or reciprocity. It is giving and receiving. So we are supposed to create awareness of our reciprocity, to be able to understand and see how everything in life is a kind of interchange. And the measure of our interchange, the measure of our reciprocity can define the quality of our life. And then, when you are able to see the reciprocity, when you are more able of the energies around you, you can intentionally trigger that kind of process. Ivan, what is the spirit of the tradition? Well, even from the beginning, in the Inca times, in the old empire, the attitude of the Inca kings and the, and the people in the Andes was to embrace and to accept and even to incorporate other traditions with care. So this attitude of embracing, of connecting, of respect to other traditions is probably one of the most important qualities of the tradition today. Even if you are not believing exactly in the same way that the tradition, the practices of the tradition, the exercises of the tradition that are simple exercises of connecting or moving the energies, the kausai, can be perfect for you. Because you don't have to convert into the Inca tradition to become a practitioner of those exercises. And what is the benefit for people to practice the Indian tradition? Well. Once you start to perceive, once you create the awareness of your seed, of the high quality factor that lives in you, through the practices, you are going to trigger a process of growth in you. In a certain way, you are going to be the witness of somebody who is better than you, who is growing inside of you and you will like it because it's like you, it's yourself that is expressing in a very powerful way or in a new way if you want.